Kicking off this weekend at the Detroit Zoo is Brick Live, always super fun. Joining us to tell us more about it is a family fun expert, Carrie from Little Guy Detroit. Good to have you back here with us. Thank you. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, Carrie. So what's Brick Live all about? Well, if you are a Lego lover, we were just talking, if you are a Lego lover or have a Lego lover at home, this is for you. The Detroit Zoo is bringing Brick Live um, to the zoo, and it's a part, if you've been to the special exhibits at uh, Detroit Zoo before, you know that they have this, like, three-acre plot that they do the dinosaurs before. So now they're taking over with 70 Life size. These are all Legos. Those are Legos. Those are all Legos. That's and they're incredible. all animals. I mean, you have like 12 foot giraffes. You have uh, a 10 foot alligator. I mean, it's just look. Look how big that is. It's incredible. <laughs> so um, I think it, it's it's astonishing just to see it, no matter what. But my son, my oldest, is a Lego lover, and so we will be there. The minute it opens, I which bet. is this weekend. Yeah, yeah. so neat. Now, other than uh, trying to avoid stepping on a Lego, <laughs> what would you uh, suggest parents know before going to this event? Yeah, so it's an in addition, it's a ticket in addition to your uh, entrance. So you do have to buy that in addition or for your membership. It's You can have a membership that includes it because um, it does run through September 3rd. So if you are looking to get a membership, which I always am a huge advocate for membership, do the math. This is my little PSA. Do the math because pretty much two visits to all of these places equivalent, is equivalent to oh, yeah. an annual pass. So anyways, it's my little plug for memberships anywhere. Um, so the it is in, a, in addition, but um, it does start this weekend. And I think it's just a great opportunity to um, vary up something that we love. The Detroit sure. Zoo is beloved. We love going there on a consistent basis. We have a membership and it just makes it so nice and easy to go. And also when you have a membership, uh, you don't feel so bad if you have to go and leave real fast. Oh, because a quick visit. That happens sometimes ah. when you have kids. Um, do you, you know, it's not this long drawn out thing or you feel like you need to make it a huge visit. So. Good tip. Uh, it's, it should be a good time. Mm -hmm. now, these are such intricate sculptures. How much time goes into <laughs> creating those? That's what I would really love to know. I would love to know that too. I don't know, but it, I, it's incredible. And if you ever have been to Legoland in Great Lakes Crossing Outlets, um, they have that city, the Legoland city, and you look at that, I mean, it's just like these structures are incredible. Um, so I will say this. My six-year-old, like I said, he's into Legos. He did his first 18-plus Lego in a day. Oh, that's impressive. Oh, uh, that, it's that no, is impressive. It's not, it's not it, this big. Not quite no. that big, no. Not quite that big, but I'm sure these Lego masters are... Yeah. must take so long. I just wonder, too, how they transport them. I mean, I know oh, they have I to make know. them elsewhere and bring them, so... Carefully? Yeah, mm -hmm. very, very Carefully. carefully. So I'm curious, I, we've seen so many exhibits at the zoo. We yeah. have memberships, too. We're yeah. huge supporters of that as well. But do they... Has Brooke Live ever come to the Detroit Zoo before? I can't remember it ever no, being here. No, not okay. that I know of, but it has made its way. I know it was Around at John country. Ball Zoo in um, Grand Rapids mm -hmm. before, uh, but I don't... I believe this is the first time. But yes, it is a traveling one. It has been to other zoos, but this is the first in in Detroit. Yeah, and you said it's it. yeah, here until September? September. Yeah. Okay. Uh, awesome. Labor Day basically. Quick question. I know yeah. for some time for adults sometimes we have to tell them don't touch the animals. Yeah. No. <laughs> so I am sure these things? are roped off. I have I'm not sure yet they been. Are. It opens on Friday to or Saturday to the public. We're um, getting a sneak peek on Friday and I have no doubt that they have stanchions or ropes or oh, yeah, I'll yeah, just have yeah. a tight leash on my littles. I could, I had a, a he premonition to touch. Yes. Of, of my boys like undoing those Legos. Mm. In a quick little seconds. story. When I moved here, I stayed in a, a Airbnb for a week, and they had a Michigan uh, State football helmet uh, made of Lego, and they had the face mask. Did and of course, touch? I was like, dunk, 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 and the face mask crumbled. <gasps> and I was like, oh, oh. I was like oh. trying to prop it. There's a security deposit right there. there. Right there. <laughs> I know. I was like, what have I done? And I was like, oh no. So they are fragile in some instances. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. I wonder if they like glue it in some capacity I, or something. I feel like, like you'd have to. 
I right? don't know. Yeah, those yeah. are just so a little neat. breeze and be like, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure those are put together <laughs> pretty bad, well. And well, bad storm or um, yeah. weather. Sure, weather. We yeah. won't test the theory though. Yeah, don't let's touch we'll, it. Go I'll, and enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch. But uh, yeah, we'll find out some of these answers. It's yeah. gonna I'll be go neat to check out for sure. Thanks so much for uh, being here with us and stay with us. Much more from Carrie and Little Guide coming up after this. Welcome back. It's going to be the perfect day to get outside and enjoy some art and golf. So Carrie with Little Guide Detroit is back with us again to tell us about Cranbrook on the Green, which kicks off tomorrow. What exactly is this Cranbrook on the Green? So it's the second year, and what they do is they collaborate with all the artists through Cranbrook Art Museum. They have submissions, and it is artists, that's us last year doing it, those are my little boys. Um, it's all a really um, unique putt-putt golf uh, course that's designed. I mean, that's like the you can see the famous tulip break? chairs, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's like designed with the, those are famous um, tulip chairs, and then there's Stegosaurus from the Cranbrook uh, Science Museum. So they the artists design it, and then you get to come and play it. So it's just a really unique spin on putt putt golf. It is so much fun. You know, we were out there last year, and in fact, my kids and I were at Cranbrook last night, and we yeah. saw them putting oh, pieces up, and they were like, oh, are we going to come back to do mini golf? So, yeah, it's, it's, and it's really neat to see. It's yes. unlike any other kind of miniature golf you've done before. Yeah, yeah it's very artist-focused. Sometimes you're like, it, it works very well, but also you're like, this is more, it's so beautiful, and it's meant to um, be visually very appealing, but it's really fun. And to your point, one of the best parts about it is that you are then on the green, or you're mm -hmm. on um, the campus, and it's so beautiful. So we did, last year, we did the putt-putt golf, and then we walked through the gardens. Yeah. This year, they are offering free admission with the with the ticket to putt-putt. You get free admission to the art museum. People oh, love free. Very yeah, they neat. love free. Yeah, Speaking of cool. free, I'll throw one more in there. The first Fridays at Cranbrook Science Museum is free. So next Friday is the first Friday of June. June 2nd, I think. Someone can fact, that, fact check that. <laughs> um, but next Friday is the first Friday of the month, and so the Science Museum is free. So you can get pup pot in, you can go to the Science Museum for free, and have a really good day out at Cranbrook. And you can, yeah, that Science Museum, you can easily spend a day or half a day oh, in yeah. there. And then when the planetarium is open, at night, that's also really neat for kids too. You can look through the telescope, and yeah. it's super fun. Yeah, yeah. plenty of stuff. I haven't to do. done that yet, but I'm excited to do that. Something that I love is that you are always telling us about so many wonderful things happening right here. Because around this time, a lot of people are planning summer vacations or maybe trips somewhere. Yeah. But you can really find it right here in your backyard. I know, and we do love our road trips. Don't get me wrong, but there's so much right here, and um, we actually just went live with our uh, Little Guide Summer Magazine, and we do have all of that. We literally have an article and an outline um, with a hundred things to do, kind of like a summer bucket list. Um, and and everyone, I'm printing it off for my family because you forget. I mean, you tend to go to your go-tos, mm -hmm. but then it's nice to have it listed out. We're like, all right, let's try something new. So I want to get back to Cranbrook on the Green for a second yeah. because you know putt putt's great and all that, but there's a little something uh, for the adults this year too. Yes. There's a new, a, a new something added. Why don't you tell us about yes, that? Yes, on Thursdays, I, I'm glad you picked this up. <laughs> I saw this too. I was like, well, that sounds fun. On Thursdays, they are having a bar, a cash bar for oh. beer and wine. So, you know, Indulge. whether you yes, whether you want it to make a, a date night. Um, or just have some fun with with the kids, and you guys get to have a glass of wine while they go putt putting. Yeah, that's. I like think a it's a win win idea. for everyone. Yeah. Is it right near the the putt putt area? Yeah, I think it's part of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, it's that new wasn't... this year, but I think yeah. it's just a pop up bar. You know, beer and wine, simple. What a great and idea! So right beer, there. wine, and putt putt. So you might be hearing a lot of four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is this yeah. ticketed? What is the cost? It like? is. So they have different tiers. Uh, if you are an adult, I think it's $15. I want to say if you're an art member or a Detroit resident, it's $10. Um, and then children 12 and under is $8. Okay. Good. I bet you they heard Good a deal. lot of suggestions after last year from parents yeah. and thought, They're like, maybe we'll add this for add next that. year. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Get a little of the sauce in uh -huh. there. That's right. You know, that is always... I always uh, play better that way. <laughs> That's for right. sure. At least, you think At least you we do. Do. Yeah, we all do. Say that. It's less painful that way. That is fantastic. <laughs> little Guide always has great ideas. You join us every Tuesday. We're always so thankful for that. Thanks for dropping by once again.